Hello everybody, back here again with our vlog of day, and today is Thursday the 6th, and today was a beautiful day outside. Not really super warm, but the sun had tons of power. So even though it was still in the 30s, I think, a lot of stuff was melting off just because the sun had such heat in it. Felt pretty good overall in the whole day. Um, ended up getting out fairly early, got some stuff done. Ended up finding the mail that I had a letter from my attorney saying the fact that he had um, opened a case basically um, dealing with my father's estate and the way my brother handled it prior to his death and after his death and all that good stuff. And it's just a giant mess there and that hassle factor and just absolutely, I don't know, it's just one of those things that it every time I see anything to do with that at all, it just makes me just physically upset. I just can't stand it. Um, but it's one of those things that needs to be done. It's what his wishes were and all that stuff. And I got people in my ear all the time saying how uh, nobody else is going to stand up for it and do what's right. I've got to be the one to do it. So pretty much stuck doing that regardless. Um, just can't wait for it to all be over. I just really... Don't give a damn about the money. Don't give a damn about none of that stuff. I, I'm not going to see any of it anyway. It's just one of those things that there's stuff he's doing that's not proper and it's not right and definitely needs to be changed out. So hopefully it'll go somewhere and we can make this actually happen and get some stuff moving. So other than that, um, got some things done around the house here. Ended up making some sloppy joes. Um, end up finishing off eighth of the rest of my turkey breast that I uh, cooked up the other day. I also tried for the first time, I made some banana ice cream. It's been kind of going around, everybody's talking about it. And basically just blend up a bunch of bananas, um, freeze it up, and then you can dump in whatever flavoring you want. I thought I'd try it out. Um, I, instead of freezing the bananas first, I blended them first and then froze it. And I'm not sure if that went that well because it kind of crystallized. I had them in the freezer for a few hours while I was out. Um, to the gym, got my run in, all that kind of stuff, came back, and it was a little too crystallized. So I actually popped in the microwave because it hadn't thawed out on me quick enough. Microwaved it for about 30 seconds, and that seemed to help the flavor quite a bit. But for flavoring, it says having a bunch of mushed up bananas, which I think is more trying to trick the brain into the texture of ice cream than it actually making it taste like ice cream. I threw in a single um, Reese's peanut butter cup. Really seemed to um, add a nice little flavor to it off and on. Um, but again, that banana thing, I'm going to try it next time with actually freezing the bananas first, blend it up, and see if it stays a little smoother or what happens there. Because it was just a little bit, that weird crystally almost tasted like, or it felt more like the um, ice cream after you let it melt too much and refroze it. So it wasn't a giant big fan of it, but what the hell. It was four bananas and a single Reese's Peanut Brick Cup. So it works out to like 505 calories. So it's definitely not a um, low calorie count. Um, dessert slash meal that's actually what I'm having as my um, basically my dinner tonight all I had was that so that was one of those things we'll have to see what happens um, how I feel about it tomorrow I just I wasn't a super big fan I might try dumping in like some vanilla extracts like that maybe some honey a couple different little things to see if I can't maybe change up the flavor a little bit maybe throw in some chocolate chips or something like that to see what happens but you figure each banana is 100 calories and I didn't definitely didn't need all four bananas in there it just didn't look like that much because when I'm eating like my um, regular smoothies I'm more drinking them also but there's a lot of orange juice in there I add which threw me off in my thought so next one I'm going to probably do just two bananas instead of all four that'll bring the calorie count down to 200 right there and then whatever else I put in it so plus whatever I put in will have a lot more flavoring more intense flavoring I guess in the process so who knows um gonna keep trying stuff haven't found anything I super love for that I'm looking for like a like more of a volume filling like almost like a cheat dessert kind of thing stuff in the evenings I just cannot eat enough food I am starving to death from like eight o'clock on and I know it's horrible beating that late I just I cannot stop eating then I've tried eating early in the day all that kind of stuff to kind of offset it still doesn't work eight o'clock on I just I'm starving constantly I keep thinking I might go back to my old ways where I just don't eat all day at all and only eat at night but I know they theoretically said it's not good for you so I'm trying to change things up and it's just kicking my butt like crazy so other than that, um, went to the gym, got my warm up in, had to do some speed work. I had to um, run four miles. I had a um, half mile at a seven, oh crap, what was it? Seven sixteen pace, I think is what it was supposed to be. I ended up at about a seven pace on average. So it worked out pretty good. Seven minute pace um, for half mile, then I'd um, slow down, I'd run at a 10 minute pace for a quarter mile to rest up and then I'd run the half mile at seven minute pace again, so on and so forth. And I kind of laughed about it because a year and a half ago, 
I couldn't have ran the quarter mile at a 10 minute pace. So it's one of those things definitely two years ago, I couldn't even, I couldn't have walked 20 minutes or a quarter mile at, you know, three mile an hour pace. So it's one of those things amazing what a little bit of time in your life can really change it up to what my cool down uh, 10 minute pace was like, I couldn't run. Like I remember like literally I would have been excited as hell to run that fast, you know, for a quarter mile at a time such a short distance in my life ago so definitely felt pretty good when i started looking at those numbers as much as i hated i felt like i was just about to ex exhaust myself at the seven minute pace i was definitely feeling that and i was sucking a lot um i felt super good when i realized the fact that my slow down my cool down run to get my heart rate back down and stuff that quarter mile was faster than i could have ran a year and a half ago or so so definitely definitely felt great there so other than that um not a lot happening i ended up catching another possum I've got a live trap out there. I didn't reset it. I'll bait it again tomorrow and stuff. And it's been, I'm pretty sure it's the same one that's been coming up out of the ditch there and stuff by the timber and been taunting my dog and stuff quite a bit. It'll set 15 feet up to five feet outside my dog's um, backyard fencing yard and just taunt him and stuff. And he barks and goes nutty. Middle of the day. So I've definitely been kind of worried me a little bit because I'm not a big fan of possums being out in the daytime. They're more of a nocturnal animal. So I'm guessing it's running out of food getting late in the year you know for the stored up you know food and stuff so i was getting a little nervous there it came up to get some you know food out of the cage obviously i'm mostly trying to catch the neighborhood cats that are always over here just tearing up stuff and that making a giant mess and caught a couple coons first possum i've caught all this year so not doing too bad i usually catch a got two or three possums a year i usually catch at least one skunk a year but only catch the skunks when the cage is sitting like off on the other end of the property when it's up on the house on the porch or like right by the edge of the porch i never catch skunks so i've been trying to leave it up on my property a little bit closer on the actual building side of the property not out near the timber so definitely not a real big deal i'm just getting tired of breaking in my dog food container and stuff i've actually got the cabinet stored in the house now because they kept like breaking the door off the hinges even the damn coons were so aggressive at the food so other than that that's all I really had going on, not much else. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.